guys, I'm Tracy. That means I'm Andy. And I'm Corey. And this episode, I mean, it was full of drama. You got your ears, you got your connections, you got your music, and of course, the word of the week, clarity. This episode really picked up steam. This was like a legit episode. If I was in this competition, I would do what Ryan and Natasha are doing. They see what the point of this is, which is to be successful musically. And get on tour. Yeah, I'm just going to pick my pony who's going to take me to there to the end and I'll do what I have to do, pretend we're in a relationship. I know, but I love that you said pick a pony. So the episode starts the morning after the rose ceremony. Savannah's like, I believe in what me and Brandon have. Julia's saying that she feels good about Sheridan, which I don't know if you saw, but at the breakfast table, he clearly had a glass of wine, which by the way, makes me love Sheridan even more. Oh, so much. He got hosed in such a big way, especially because he is one of the more talented contestants on that show. But he's got a Subaru. He might not have love, he might not have a music career, but by golly, he's got a Subaru. <laughs> Life is good. Ian the boo. So Chris Harrison comes in and you know he's gonna shake some you know what up. He says, this is about finding love and we mm -hmm. have more dates, but here's the twister of all twister -onies. It's not with who you think. And, and by the way, it also wasn't everyone. Like, no, it was like only the couples that have drama, you get to go on dates. He says, first, Jamie, you're going on a date with Ryan, who you've already been on a date with. Who you don't have any chemistry with. Chris, you're going to go on a date with Rudy. And everyone's like, what? But then they pair up the people who we know is the reason they did this whole thing. Julia with Brandon. Brandon's like, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll do that. And she's like, <laughs> if I have to. She's, she's like, like, finally. Yeah. Three dates are happening. And this is my favorite part. It's like, okay, well, Chris and Rudy, you're gonna go to the backyard. That wasn't even the backyard. That was like the side of a road. Chris is like, I really like Bree. And she's like, I really like Matt. Okay, let's fly on them. And so then Jamie and Ryan go, I don't even, did they go to like a spa date? We didn't really see much. No, but the, the robes that they were wearing, I couldn't tell if it was like a robe with a towel or a tunic or what it was. I don't <laughs> think they left the property either. So then Julie and Brandon get the date that actually they spent money on, which was going to the Roxy and writing their own song with Joel Krause. Oh, I didn't even wear this on purpose, but I'm gonna- Oh my God, you're him. Oh, this guy's the epitome of singer-songwriter in LA. They were supposed to write a song and then go perform it on the Roxy stage. I felt like he was looking at those two being like, so you guys are like- <laughs> And then they're performing it and he's like, yeah, that was something. That was <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the mansion, Sheridan, poor, poor Subaru Sheridan. He's like, it all happened at my expense. Coming back to me, coming back to me. So the first people back from their date are obviously Chris and Rudy, and then Jamie and Ryan come back, and then Savannah and Sheridan are like, have you seen Julia? No, have you seen Brandon? No, no, I wonder where they are. Who knows where they can be? Well, what are they doing is they're smoocherinoing. Finally, Brandon and Julia return from their date. They're like, okay, let's go have our conversation. She's like, I just don't know. And he's like, what do you not know? And she's like, well, I'm just, just hard. What's hard? And he's like mad. And she's like, why are you being so mean? Oh, I love that he literally was like, bye. Fast forward to then Brandon's conversation with Savannah. I was getting very like smoke steam out of my ears at him. First of all, the way he calls people sweetie and baby. I know, I don't like it. He's so artificial. But yeah. I love Savannah when he was like, I don't know what you want me to say. She's like, well, I want you to say that you pick me. What I love that she said is like, it's not that I don't want to be your second choice. I don't want to be a choice at all. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, she's my favorite. So we'll hear it all. And now we have to cross some people off, you guys. Oh yeah. We got rid of Savannah and Sheridan, also known as Severidan, okay? Or Shavanna. Shavanna. So Sheridan leaves, Savannah leaves, and it's the next day. This is really juicy Dromskis. So they're all backstage waiting to perform at the Novo. Natasha with a C. It's actually N Natasha. Natasha. Natasha, she says, remember at breakfast when I said, cover your ears? Natasha goes, so Brandon, if Savannah would have stayed, would you want to be with her? And Brandon basically is like, yeah, there's a chance. That question was amazing, by the way, and oh, totally worth asking. Is anyone actually thinking that Julia's not listening in that moment? By the way, Julia went like this, like, yeah. Right. So then, flash forward to the Novo, backstage where Josh is like, what Brandon actually said was, if Savannah would have stayed, he would have stayed with her. And Julia's like, 
What? I mean, this is a conversation I don't like. Was the timing wrong? Probably, but also this is a competition. Get in her head. Like, I don't blame her. I'm here for Natasha. Yes, me too. I am yeah. team Natasha with a C. Chris Harrison comes on and he's introducing our judges and we get Bachelor Royalty, Rachel Lindsay, and this is how he introduced them, Rachel Lindsay and her husband, Brian. I was like, then we get our Jason Mraz of the day. You know him, you like him, Andy Grammer. Then we get Tony Braxton. She's great. So the first people to sing is Rudy and Matt. That was when Tony was like, I wish I just, there was more than that interaction and she was doing all of her shoulders and him. But overall, really positive review. And so listening to Rudy and Matt, Jamie was just getting all the nerves. Yeah, I just felt bad. She's young, she doesn't know what she's doing. So she gets out there and she's like, oh. Or she was just trying too hard, I feel, maybe. It's like, I still felt that Trevor was sexy hall pass Trevor for me, but I do feel like that performance wasn't great. So then Chris and Brie come out and they sing Lover by Taylor Swift. Brie, by the way, she sounded just like Taylor Swift. They're great. The love I don't know, but like, I'm really into the fact that they're really talented. Yeah, important milestone alert. Hold on, in this corner, milestone alert, milestone alert. Brie and Chris say to one another, I love you. Everyone was like, no! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so then we get the Julia and Brandon performance. Just want to make a comment on Brandon's stink face when he sings. No. <laughs> Rachel is just like, honestly, it just sounded like a karaoke performance. And I was like, oh, dagger, 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 dagger. So then we get our stars of the night, Natasha and Ryan. Here's the thing about this performance. They literally did a little scope of the stage and said, we're gonna use every inch of this. Oh yeah, they moved around and they like got down by the crowd. They were what seemed to be the clear winners of the night. My favorites are by far, Rudy and Natasha. Most talented hands down. So then backstage. Julia comes in and she is like, Natasha, you're the reason I screwed up. You sabotaged me. I was gonna be amazing, except for now it's your fault. Then Natasha was like, mm, sorry, I'm the best. It so wasn't nice and I so don't care. Then we get our rose ceremony, which still happens at Zenovo. And we say goodbye to Julia and Brandon. When they left and they went out and got in the cars, it was just like, he put her in her car. <laughs> it was like later. Yeah, he's like, bye. That was when Julia starts crying in the car and was like, I should have listened when people said that Sheridan and I sounded the best together. You would never treat me this way. So then we get our teas and we are in Vegas. And then there's also some Rudy and Matt drama, all of which I am here for, but nothing more so than team Natasha. I'm all about Natasha. Natasha and that other guy that's with her. A big thanks to you all for watching. Don't forget to tune in next week. Comment below and tell us what you think. I froze again. <laughs>